And so I was then leading uh, my peers, which is even harder in some regards than leading a whole uh, team of soldiers who are a lot lower rank. So I was leading um, as a pilot, a group of about 10 pilots. So that was a big pivotal moment for me as I learned, particularly the first six months of that role in going, all right, I need to bring my team in, get everyone's opinions and thoughts about a particular plan, but then cle- clearly communicate the intent, the decision, and then how, we, how we're going to do it and go from there. So That does sound like a very unique challenge. Were, were there times when the, the, the people that you were leading, because you said they were your peers, um, were there times where they would challenge your decision? Were there times where they did not agree with what you were saying? Was it was it a more brave group in the way? Was it a more outspoken group because they were your peers? Yeah, definitely. And um, if you know pilots, every pilot has two or three opinions and they're not afraid to tell you. So we are outspoken as a, as a general rule. Um, mm-hmm. And so I had to take an approach where, all right, let's get in, let's have the debate. Okay, let's have the debate, map it out. But at the end of the day, I'm still the boss and I have the responsibility for us to make the decision for us to execute. So let's get it all on the table. If you don't agree, lay it out the reason. I'm prepared to change. I'm prepared to change my opinion if it's within uh, within the bounds of what we can do. And and this is where um, I started to really learn intellectual humility, which I think is a really key trait of a leader 